What's up everybody? It is Bucket Mouth Bass I'm back here again today and I'm sure you guys already see we are at the lake. It has been a while since we came fishing out here. I'll leave a link to my last lake fishing video that I made up top right now. I think it was like the carbon light 2.0 combo put to the test. That was a fun video so you're not going to want to miss it. I'll leave a link down below too in case you want to go check it out after the video here today. But in today's video I'm going to be showing you all the number one secret bass fishing rig that you need to be throwing to catch the maximum amount of bass during the winter months and also this rig works very well throughout the entire year it's got to be my favorite bass fishing rig so i'm super excited to share it with y'all here today so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned and i'm also going to show you guys exactly how to fish it to catch those bass because you don't want to just throw it out there randomly and do random things there's actually a certain way you have to fish it to catch those bass but if y'all have not subscribed go down hit that subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss anything here in the future but let's go ahead and cue the epic music and the intro Oh my god! Holy moly, did you see that? Oh my gosh! I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know if this is big guys. I wasn't even paying attention. As y'all can see, watch, it's gonna be a dink. It's gonna be a freaking dink, watch. It's gonna be a dink. How much do y'all wanna bet? It's not even that big. Oh my gosh, this guy is faking me out. This guy is faking me out. I thought he was gonna be big. I thought he was gonna be big, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction was priceless. <laughs> the reaction was priceless. <laughs> okay, y'all can't even make fun of me for that though. Y'all saw my rod tip just bend. I, I wasn't really paying attention, but yeah, it's not okay. It, it's not terrible. My dad, my dad's giving me props. You know, he's giving me more credit than I deserve here. But so number one of the day on the drop shot. Love fishing the drop shot during the winter and pretty much all year. If you guys have seen my channel, I pretty much exclusively fish shaky head and a drop shot. But here's the first fish of the day. Nice one pounder to get the day going. I thought he was going to be at least a three pounder based on that bite, but he turned out to not be that big. But for this lake, this is not a bad fish. So I'll take what I can get. All right. So first fish of the day. It's not horrible. Let's get a release on this guy. Put him back in gently for y'all there. There you go, little buddy. But uh, I'm fishing the watermelon red with the chartreuse tail. One of my favorite, favorite colors. The only other one that would compare to this one, in my own opinion, is the black and blue or the June bug color with the chartreuse tail. But right now, fishing the watermelon red. And I like to leave about, a, I would call this about eight inches of leader length. So. My worm is not up too high, but it's not too low and too close to that weight as y'all can see here. And then I recommend using an offset worm hook for this. They do sell the drop shot hooks. They're like the wacky rig hooks, if you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, let me know down in the comments and I can give you a link to what I'm actually talking about. But these little offset worm hooks are the best in my opinion for drop shots because it keeps you from getting snagged. So you can just Texas rig it right on here like that. So real easy to do. All right, let's get this dumb thing back out there and hopefully we can actually catch a bigger fish this time. But that reaction was pretty priceless. I thought it was gonna be a toad, but you know, of course I get faked out. That's for you to watch. <laughs> oh shoot, that's a... I'm on another fish guys. I don't know if it's big. It's probably not on the drop shot. Yeah, I don't think it's big. It ain't finding me that hard. Oh my gosh, man. They get smaller and smaller, I swear. <laughs> He's not even fighting me. Look at this fish, guys. It's like a half pounder, if even. <laughs> hey, but for December fishing, I'll take it. What the heck? What's wrong with this man's eyes? Oh my God, dude, that's so gross. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that's so gross. Oh my gosh, guys, look at his eyes. It's so gross. Oh my god. 
Oh, man. I don't know if y'all are seeing this man's poor eyes, but his eyes are bulging out crazy. I don't even know if I should be touching this fish. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. I don't even want to touch him no more. He looks gross. I don't even think this man can see. Look at him in the water. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He, I think he's blind or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. So second fish of the day on the drop shot. All I'm doing is just dragging it along the bottom and he cast it back out there. Hopefully we can get on a few more fish before it gets dark. It's already about to be four o'clock and it gets dark at like 530. But honestly, I don't even waste my time throwing anything else during the winter. You know, you could try a crankbait or something, but most of the time that doesn't work for me. If you guys have had a different experience, throwing stuff in the winter let me know down below what works for you guys i know a lot of guys like throwing underspins and stuff but i'm just not a big fan of those usually i just get them snagged and i end up losing them anyway so that's why i'm just throwing this so even if i lose it you know i throw another fish guys oh i don't think it's big but it's decent enough okay i caught a fish <laughs> switched over to the black and blue here and it actually worked pretty good that was literally the second cast with the black and blue get this guy on the boat so third fish of the day it's actually not a horrible one it's probably just over a pound pretty healthy fish I actually bit my bait pretty hard for the winter here we go guys third fish of the day he's got a little welt on his side it's actually kind of gross but not a horrible fish just over a pound as y'all can see Nice way to get the, the day going again. And his eyes are not all gross like the last fish. His eyes are normal, so that's pretty nice. All right, let's get this guy back in the water and try and catch some more fish. Back, flip him back in there, there he goes. So this is what I'm using now, guys. I'm using the black and blue. Real small, real finesse. Works good if you're struggling to get a bite. I was using the watermelon red for a while, but I didn't really catch anything for the past 45 minutes, so I figured I'd give the black and blue a shot. Those are pretty much the two colors I use. I don't really get too fancy outside of that. Pretty much use black and blue, watermelon red, green pumpkin, and June bug. Those are probably my top four go-to colors. Let me get this guy back out there. Fishing a real small bait because they're getting a little bit finicky. The sun's starting to go down. It's December 5th? December 5th. I just checked. It is December 5th, so we're getting into the winter months here, guys, and it gets pretty tough catching those, those finicky bass. So if you guys are struggling, I highly recommend throwing a drop shot. That's obviously the purpose of today's video, how to fish this drop shot. I'm just throwing it out there and just letting it sink to the bottom, letting out line with my spinning rod and just slowly dragging it. That's all I'm doing and just letting it sit there. It's kind of annoying. It's an annoying way to fish. Honestly, you know, I admit it, but it works, so you just gotta do what works. I'm just giving it little, little bounces just to give it a little bit of action. I just got another bite there. As soon as I was saying it, I got another bite, guys. Works very good this time of the year, as y'all can see. Just caught another one. I'm fishing the black and blue, so I couldn't find a June bug. So obviously you guys want to switch up the colors too if one color is not working. This is definitely working a lot better than the watermelon red. I caught like two fish on the watermelon red in the course of like three hours and I caught two fish on this one in the course of like five minutes. So Fourth fish of the day. Not a big one, just under a pound. Nice fish. He doesn't have disgusting eyes. Man, that second fish was gross. Oh my gosh, I was about to puke. His eyes look so disgusting. Let's get this guy back in the water. There's obviously some fish grouped up over here. There he goes. So again, all I'm doing is just slow dragging it across the bottom. I'm not even doing anything fancy, giving it little, little movements every once in a while just to make it look alive. But other than that, it's very, very easy to fish this bait. You don't gotta do anything fancy. Another great rig that I like for uh, fishing, I'll leave a link to a video I made about that. I don't wanna give it away. And there will be a link down below in case you wanna go check out that video as well. But it's another secret bait that I really like to use. Oh, something? Oh yeah. 
Wow, that is a dink. That has to be a dink. All right, we're on another fish here, guys. I know it's gotta be a dink, but it is another fish. The sun is going down. We're about to leave. And here he is, little, little squeaker, man. Look at him, look at him. He doesn't even have a chance, but he's trying. A plus for effort. <laughs> All right, here we go on the drop shot again, number five of the day, right as the sun was going down. So I'm pretty excited about that. Not a big one, probably the smallest one of the day actually, but I'll take it, <laughs> I'll take it. Here he is, not a big guy but still another fish on the drop shot here today. Just the fact that I caught five fish in the course of a few hours on a chilly December day, I say that's pretty good. Let's get this guy back in the water. There he goes. All right, guys, this is gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here today. It is getting dark. We gotta get out of here. We don't feel like pulling out the lights because we're a little bit lazy today. But as y'all saw, I caught five fish here today on a chilly December day using the drop shot rig and the slow dragging technique that I showed y'all. So go give it a shot. Let me know if you have any luck throwing that drop shot rig during the cold months or any other time of the year because like I said in the beginning, this rig works very good in the winter and it works year round. So like I was saying, let me know if you have any luck using this exact rig, fishing it the way I showed y'all today. But if you made it to this part of the video, go down hit that subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss anything in the future. And thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all back here next time.